Go Coots! Ann and Gerald, thank you very much for that fabulous rendition of our fight song. Join me in recognizing them, please. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Elson Floyd. I have the great privilege of serving as the 10th president of Washington State University. Today is a momentous occasion in the life of our university. We have several points of celebration today, and we'll get into that in just a few moments. But before we do that, I want to extend our heartfelt appreciation and thanks to our regents, to the Board of Governors, to our trustees, to alums, supporters, friends, legislators, our students, and our faculty, and our staff, and to Washingtonians throughout the state for your commitment and for your dedication to Washington State University. There is no doubt that we are better as a consequence of your commitment and for your unwavering support of what we do. Whether you are here with us in Seattle, or if you're in Pullman, or Spokane, or Tri-Cities, or Vancouver, or at our 35 research centers across the state, or at the offices throughout our nation, and to a certain extent across the world, tuning in electronically, please know that Washington State University is your university. And we are tremendously, tremendously grateful for your participation in this joyous occasion. As a land-grant university in the 21st century, Washington State University must be global, conducting research that benefits the world, focusing intellectual pursuits on the most pressing of society's issues, preparing our students to move across cultures and borders, and equipping our communities with the tools to succeed in an ever-increasingly competitive and volatile global marketplace. As a state's university, we must be local, providing outreach into every county and touching the lives of every citizen in the state and improving access to higher education. Building on a rich and deep foundation of past achievements, WSU must make significant strategic investments to power the next wave of big ideas that will change the world. With this in mind, it is my pleasure today to announce the university's first comprehensive fundraising campaign since 1997. The campaign for Washington State University because the world needs big ideas. It is through the campaign for Washington State University that we will seek a historic infusion of private support to leverage the university's research strengths, to generate big ideas for health and food and sustainability, global leadership, and Washington State health. Whether in the United States or Malawi, a healthy economy depends on healthy communities. Since its founding, WSU has nurtured and cultivated and sustained the important and fragile links between plants and animals and human health in the communities in which we serve, whether those communities are here in the state of Washington or in the continent of Africa. WSU has proven education and research strengths in the colleges of nursing and pharmacy and strong programs in the sciences, combined with world-renowned expertise reflected in WSU's College of Veterinary Medicine. As a member of the Washington Global Health Alliance, and with the recent partnerships with the University of Washington and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Washington State University is in the unique position to leverage its strengths in human and animal health to realize remarkable contributions to advancing health and health care worldwide. It is through the campaign for WSU that we will make these areas of strength into a reality. Food. With the nation's second most diverse agricultural economy, the state of Washington is at the epicenter of it all, building a food system that is productive, that is competitive, that is sustainable and safe, 
is of utmost importance to our state and to the entire globe. It is through this campaign that the university's renowned plant scientists will build on interdisciplinary strengths to tackle some of the world's most fundamental problems, including hunger and malnutrition and human health. The result would be sweeping changes in the food and agricultural system, the state's number one industry. Sustainability. We have historic expertise in plant sciences, power, and applied sciences and engineering. WSU's researchers understand the energy and the power and the influence that the environment plays in the world in which we live. And we have the interdisciplinary solutions to bring new answers to some of those most vexing issues. By making sustainability a reality, we will find ways to meet current research needs without compromising future generations. As a charter member of the state's Clean Tech Alliance, and ranked among the top 10 clean tech universities by Sustainable World Capital, WSU is recognized for significant advances in developing accessible and affordable alternative energy solutions. It is through the campaign for WSU that we will further leverage our expertise, attract the very top faculty and graduate students, and support the state's goal in a highly competitive and national research environment. We rely heavily on our College of Agriculture, Human and Natural Resource Sciences, and our College of Engineering to make these commitments a reality. The demand for graduates who can think critically and creatively and to navigate in unfamiliar places, appreciate other cultures, speak multiple languages, customize their education to emerging careers is ever more important today than it was yesterday. As competition for jobs intensifies, there is also an expanding need for professionals who are successful in intercultural, interdisciplinary, diverse, dynamic, and team-driven environments. We we'll rely on the College of Liberal Arts and the Morrill College and the College of Business to pave new ideas in that regard, providing quality international and cultural experiences for all of our college students is of paramount importance. Whether it's on our own campus or whether it's international, it has become a competitive marketplace for American universities, and we must seek to prepare the next generation of leaders to flourish in this global economy. Washington State University, as the state's only land-grant research university, we have a primary responsibility to make sure that we ensure access and affordability for Washingtonians first and foremost. But any great university must also have an international or global focus, and that focus will be integrated in everything that we do as an institution. You see, we have a vast array of assets, assets that you have made possible as Washingtonians. And when I think of that asset base, I think of the amazing campus in Pullman and in Spokane, in Tri-Cities, in Vancouver. I think of the energy and enthusiasm and excitement that's generated from our research centers across our state, from our small business development centers, from our extension centers within the state of Washington. You see, the reality is our university has an obligation and a responsibility to make sure that we have the educational programs and services that will benefit Washingtonians first and foremost. And there is no doubt that if we do that appropriately, we will have an impact on this entire nation. And if we do that right, we'll have an international focus and impact and influence and leadership across this entire globe. That is the investment that you've made in Washington State University, and that is the reason that I'm privileged to serve as president. It is through the campaign for WSU that Washington State University will be in the prime position to be global in our research and local in our impacts, enabling us to touch the lives of everyone every day. We have prepared a short video that touches on the scope and spirit and scale and impact of the campaign for Washington State University.
In Walla Walla, an 86-year-old man living alone left a stove burner on. In Malawi, Africa, an infant cries herself to sleep to escape hunger. In Spokane, a trucking business will be closing because of soaring fuel costs. In India, drought means no wheat this year. We need ideas to help people. Ideas big enough to reach across Washington State and across the world. Ideas that light up your city, that give you a better hip replacement, that give you sustainable biofuels, that reforest your country, that vaccinate you against sickness, that assist an aging population with independent living, that teach you how to make your own big ideas come true. Big ideas are the mission of Washington State University in ways never before imagined. We research plant genetics to produce desert wheat that thrives in drought. We discover new ways to fight deadly diseases that can leap from animals to humans. We dare to explore novel solutions to energy needs. We inspire young minds and equip them with the knowledge and ideals to become innovative leaders in business, education, engineering, communication, the arts, agriculture, medicine, and so much more. But Washington State University is more than just us. It's you, your family, and your community. Our roots are deep in Washington soil, and our work improves lives everywhere. From the Puget Sound to the Palouse, from vineyards to open range, from mountain forests to city streets, we are the life and energy that makes Washington State University the engine of Washington's tomorrow, the place where big ideas begin. And we are the Cougs. We inherit the fruits of our legacy and in turn, answer the call to generously give back with our talent, our ideas, our time, and our financial support. We are the unique past, present, and future of Washington State University. Coming to WSU, having different scholarships from the Honors College, the Foundation, and the Native American Center really allowed me to alleviate some of those out-of-state costs and make it possible to come here. I'm a first-generation Native American student. If I didn't have the scholarships and funding, there is no way I'd be able to afford it. We do attract uh, some of the best students that there are. You also have an opportunity to train the next generation of scientists and students. I mean, that's, uh, that's a great responsibility, but it's exciting. If we turn out the, the students that we think that we can to do the things that we think they can do, they will be better off for it. The rest of the world will be better off for it. If you have good research, good ideas will come up. You will generate new entrepreneurs coming out of the system. Now, to fill those positions, you need educated people, too. We are doing this two-pronged job of creating these opportunities, job opportunities, economic uh, opportunities, and then also having a workforce ready for that. I think if we all can come to a university and experience those things and rise to that new standard, it will definitely benefit future generations. The way I view it is we're making an investment in the future, and we wouldn't make an investment if we didn't think it would pay returns. We need big ideas, you and I. Big ideas to improve lives and transform the world. We can do it. We must do it. With your support of the campaign for Washington State University, we will do it. In Vancouver, in the Tri-Cities, in Spokane, in Pullman, all across Washington and the world, we will make a difference.
And now it's my great pleasure to introduce the chair of our campaign. When you think of someone who is the consummate kook, when you think of someone who serves as a member of the Board of Regents, when you recognize the class of 1972 through our College of Business, there is one name that comes to mind, and that's Scott Carson. But the most important part of his qualifications is the fact that he's married to Linda. It's my pleasure to introduce Scott Carson. Okay, do I get dinner tonight now? Well, thank you, Elson. And thank you, all of you from the Cougar Nation who are joining us in Pullman, in locations across the state at all of our branch campuses, at our research centers, and those that are watching us through the magic of satellite capability around the world. When Elson asked me if I would take on this campaign, I was obviously honored and frankly a little fearful. But then you realize the importance of this campaign and what will happen when we are successful at raising the private capital that will extend the reach of the programs at the university and will in fact change the nature of this university forever. It doesn't matter if we're talking scholarship or research or program or facilities, this campaign is certainly important to this region and, and to this institution. But there's no question that these are challenging times for higher education in our state. At the same time, it's important to note this campaign is not about the replacement of declining state funding. It is the state's responsibility, without any question, to its citizens to ensure a solid foundation for a land-grant institution whose education, research, and outreach directly benefit the industries and economy and, in fact, all the citizenry of our state. Supporting the campaign for Washington State University is an investment. It's an investment in the future of our state, an investment to provide the margin of excellence which will take WSU programs to the next level, an investment in expanding the reach of our university, an investment in increasing access and a world-class education. It's an investment in the development of the innovations that will drive our economy and make the state, the nation, and the world a better place for all of us. And I can't recall a time when it was more needed for us to move into campaign. What a better time to get behind comprehensive fundraising efforts to create the WSU of tomorrow, a WSU that enhances the student experience, that increases the access of students across our region, that enables top faculty and researchers to touch the lives and change the future to make our world better. As an economic driver for our state and region, we will all benefit from the good work happening at WSU. Earlier this fall, there was a terrific article in the Wall Street Journal that identified the top 25 universities in the nation where recruiters like to attract and make offers to students. Importantly, WSU made that list. It was the only university in the Northwest to do so. So why, why did that happen? The reasons cited in the ranking are that the graduates of these universities are often among the most prepared and the best and most well-rounded academically and fit well with corporate cultures. That doesn't mean they're conformists. It means they know how to think. Clearly, our state's economy and the industries here, as well as those throughout the region and the world, benefit from hiring students that have those kinds of credentials. And our statewide impact is more than educating a skilled workforce. The innovations born at WSU, as you saw on the, on the film earlier, touch a wide variety of fields, from human and animal health to material sciences and engineering, from agriculture and education to education, from clean technology and biofuels to business and communications. 
Washington State University benefits. Washington State's faculty and students will benefit from this campaign. Our state and nation will benefit. And each one of us individually will find the joy that comes from supporting an investment that pays high returns. President Floyd and I have provided this morning a very brief overview of the campaign. And probably not the best kept secret in Seattle today, but one that I want to address is what is our fundraising goal for this campaign. I can tell you that I am honored, a little humbled, and quite terrified to tell you today that our campaign goal for campaign of Was for Washington State University because the world needs big ideas is one billion dollars. Clearly, we're not talking about a mere exercise in raising money. The campaign for WSU is the single grandest fundraising effort in the history of our institution. Among the larger campaigns ever undertaken in this country, by the time it's complete, we aim to raise the bar across the university in supporting students, faculty, creating innovative research opportunities, and expanding WSU's outreach throughout the state and, frankly, well beyond. Of our billion-dollar goal, more than $300 million of the campaign, nearly a third of its total, is designated for the student experience, with $200 million of that directly supporting student scholarship and fellowships. Another $250 million of the billion dollars will be designated to attract and retain the best faculty to teach and inspire our students, and importantly, to conduct cutting-edge research. Key initiatives in the area of academics and outreach programs and the construction and renovation of facilities that will house these activities make up the balance of our goal. This campaign began its silence phase in July of 2006, a mere four and a half years ago. Today marks the beginning of the public phase, which will continue through 2015, a fact that I shared with my wife only recently. <laughs> this is important. It will coincide with the 125th anniversary of our institution. To date, we have received tr a tremendous outpouring of support during the quiet phase. Let me give you some key examples. A $25 million challenge grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation towards the construction of WSU's School for Global Animal Health. Jean and Linda Voiland, who you saw in the film's generous commitment of $17.5 million to transform WSU's School of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering a recent anonymous commitment of a $10 million testamentary gift for the College of Business. But as important as those, more than 80 commitments, each valued at over a million dollars, have been made to date. These large commitments are tremendous, but, the gifts, of, but gifts of all size have been a vital part of getting us to where we are today and will be a vital part of getting us to where we ultimately want to be. More than 130,000 donors have stepped up in support of the campaign so far. Of them, more than, than 90,000 have been commitments of $1,500 or less. More than 53,000 alumni have participated in the campaign to date, giving an alumni participation rate of about 33%. And our students have stepped up as well. Nearly 5,000 of them have made gifts and more than 5,700 individual gifts during the campaign. I think those are remarkable, but I'd like to share with you where we are today and thank everyone that has stepped up with their generous gifts. All of these commitments really add up, and it is my pleasure to announce today that Campaign WSU has surpassed $506 million in generous commitments.
That's nearly twice what the campaign in 1997 raised during its entire period. We should all be proud of the generous volunteers and donors, but also of the deans and the directors and the university leadership, and of course of the faculty and staff and students who have inspired and guided us to this historic moment. It is thanks to each and every one of you that we're standing where we are today. The good news is we're more than halfway to our billion dollar goal. The challenge is we have a long, long ways to go, but we have the heart and commitment of all of our supporters to get this job done. The responsibility for WSU's aspirations belong especially to all of us who care passionately about our university. As members of the Cougar Nation, we are all at the core of this campaign. So the success of our campaign rests on our shoulders. The act of giving is one that pays back handsomely. It's an investment in the future of our region, of our young people, and of the future of the world. It's, there's truly never been a better time to be a Coug. And I invite all of you from Cougar Nation together at this single monumental effort to celebrate what is the greatness of Washington State University. I have a granddaughter here in the audience today who's uh, almost two. And as she watches football on the weekends, it doesn't matter what team is playing, she amplifies it with, go Cougs. So Michaela, to you, go Cougs. Go Cougs, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Scott, thank you very much for your leadership and thank you for what you do on behalf of Washington State University. There's no doubt that we are better as a consequence. $506.2 million, an incredible number for any institution, a remarkable achievement for those people who are so passionate about our university. And I must tell you that we will exercise uncompromised stewardship over the resources that you've entrusted to us, making sure that we make the difference between mediocrity and excellence. And that's what our university is all about. You know, in fundraising, there is a magical moment that occurs. It is the moment in which you meet a donor, a benefactor, and you match that person up with the institution's expertise, things that we do exceedingly well, and all of a sudden, the light goes off, and you then capture the essence of the individual, and you capture the essence of the institution, and you then make a transformational difference in the world in which we are part of. And you know, that moment occurred most recently. It is such an amazing thing when you have Cougs who will say, I want to give back to my institution. I want to give back in meaningful ways. I want to make sure that there is an uncompromised esprit de corps associated with what happens. Paul G. Allen did exactly that. And he has made a truly transformational gift in the life of our university. It is the largest single gift that we've ever received in the history of our university, $26 million. Thank you all so very much. You know, seeing those pictures of the campus brought back many fond memories for me. Uh, thank you also, President Floyd. I'm really thrilled today to be surrounded by so many Cougars here in Seattle, as well as everyone joining from Pullman, Spokane, 
the Tri-Cities, and Vancouver. I've been involved in philanthropy for more than 20 years, but this is one of the single largest gifts I've ever made. It really means a lot to me to be able to help expand the School for Global Animal Health and launch exchange programs between Washington State and Africa. You know, I've been thinking for years that it'd be, it'd be wonderful to do something really significant with Washington State, and it's really a happy day for me today to be able to announce it in conjunction with, with the university and all of you here. I hope everyone here can also do their part to help this great university because, as President Floyd said, the world needs big ideas. Thank you very much, and for all for, and for all you do for WSU. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. When I arrived at Washington State University, the Board of Regents challenged me to make sure that we use the incredible asset base that we have in place and to seek out those programs and those specializations that will make an indelible imprint in the improvement of the quality of life. And we have done exactly that. And so today is a celebration of $26 million it's a celebration of the $502.6 million that we have raised. But it's also about the eradication of zoonotic diseases. And there is no doubt, Mr. Allen, that we will do exactly that. And so we are privileged today to name our School for Global Animal Health, the Paul G. Allen School for Global Animal Health, and the current building. and the current building, the Paul G. Allen Center for Global Animal Health. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> now you can have these campaigns and you look at campaign totals. And now I want to give you another total because when you looked at the $506.2 million, it did not include the $26 million. And so our total is $532.2 million. Washington State University is an amazing place. It's an incredible university. This campaign will make our university one of the truly great land-grant universities in this country. We have a goal of being one of the top 10 land-grant universities in this nation. And that is a goal that will be achieved in part because of what you have done already, but also because of what you will do in the future. I cannot think of a better way to support Washington State University than by giving generously and often to the campaign for WSU. I hope each of you will feel the pride and the enthusiasm and the commitment, the alignment of what we do as an institution with your interest and with your resources. You see, that's what we will achieve as a consequence of this campaign, $1 billion by 2015. Thank you all very, very much for what you have done, what you continue to do to strengthen and sustain our university. And go Cougs!
And now it's my great pleasure to introduce to you live from the Terrell Library Atrium in Pullman, Washington, the Cougar Marching Band. very, very much. Enjoy your food, and we will have receptions all over the state for this joyous occasion. Go Cougs!